Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, so this pick a card reading that we're doing is entitled, Who Will I Date Next? And we have three piles to choose from. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys that my Patreon is now up. And if you wanted to go visit my Patreon, check out exclusive pick a card readings, drawings, blog posts, etc. Just some fun stuff. You can do that and I'll put the link below in the description box. Okay. Um, so back to the reading. We have three piles. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Three piles. So this is about your next dating partner or potential partner that you're going to date. It could be short term or long term. If you're already dating someone, you could just check it out just to see if it matches the person that you are currently dating. Okay, to see what resonates with you. All right, so on to the reading. What I want you to do now is choose the pile that stirs your passion and excites you the most. Pause the video and choose. So if you chose pile one, this is your reading. So Paul one had these um, little blue orbs and some other items we'll look at later on. Okay. Let's see what cards you chose if you picked Paul one. And this is all about your next dating partner. So you got the Sword Prince, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Six of Wands, this is the Four of Spring, the Ten of Spring, this is Spread Your Wings, and this is the Ace of Summer. Okay, let's see. All right, so just looking at the cards there, the first thing I notice is that with your, um, with the person you're gonna meet, it's the sword prince that tells me about how you are going to meet. So for me, the Sword Prince is the Knight of Swords or Gemini Chariot. Um, that tells me that this date, this person is going to come to you in a hurry, in a rush. It's coming in fast. If you haven't met this person yet, you are going to meet them very soon. If you did meet them, then they were in a great hurry to meet you. They wanted to get to know you and connect with you, okay? So there was an instant attraction. It tells me this person could also be an air sign, more than likely a Gemini, okay? Um, they felt, this person felt that they were kind of, um, you were kind of out of their league is what I'm feeling because I'm seeing this 10 of wands. You see how he's looking at that, that big old house on the hill. I felt like your person felt like you were so out of reach. They felt like they had nothing to offer you because he's carrying a bundle of sticks and you're living in, in like a mansion made of concrete or bricks or just you know steady stable material so he felt like he had or she had nothing to offer you you were out of their league um they assumed you were living lavishly or they will assume you're living lavishly um let's see what else i felt like inner struggle right i felt that because the ten of swords is telling me that they're having some kind of inner struggle in terms of deciding whether or not they should approach you. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? So a lot of vacillation energy there. And this is if you haven't met the person yet, if you have met them, that's probably what they were going through before they decided to approach you. Okay. Um, so they felt like you shoot them down or you'd, you'd break their heart or, you know, something like that. Um, and I felt it took a lot of courage for them to actually, um, yeah, to actually approach you. Let's see. Now, the Six of Wands here, they felt like you were super popular and everybody was around you and everybody wanted to be with you and 
you know, you were getting chased by a lot of people and you had adoring fans, etc., etc. Just really popular. And here again, the Ten of Wands kind of tells me about your person um, that you're going to date. This person is a really hard worker. The person wants um, like a happily ever after. You know, according to the Four of Spring, I'm feeling like they definitely want that happily ever after. Your person feels as if they've been through a lot of relationships, okay? Which is the Ten of Spring, Ten of Ten of Wands, the same kind of energy there, Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. So they've had a hard time in relationship, right? They had struggles. They've been through a lot of just people that weren't good for them, okay? They And I feel like they have big relationship goals. They feel when they finally meet that right person, you know, they, they're going to put their all into it because they do work hard at everything that they do. I feel like your person's also a little bit high strong as well with, you know, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. They're a little bit of anxiety. Um... With the Ten of Spring, I also get the energy of oh, that your person, because it's just the way they're dressed, they don't like spending a lot of money, for sure. Um, you know, they look for bargains. So in this sense, they're frugal as well. Um, um, they're pretty frugal with their money. That's, that's what I feel. Um, I feel that this person here, your person has a talent also. With the Ace of Summer, this card is telling me your person has some kind of artistic or creative talent. Um, it could be with building, you know, because I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. With the Ten of Wands here, your person could have an extraordinary talent for building things. It could be a talent for decorating, home decorating, construction. It could be any kind of artistic work. It could be designing homes, writing. Your person could be manually dexterous, right? Know how to use their hands, work their fingers well, um, do detail-oriented work. They could be a strategist, I'm feeling. Your person could also be good at using their hands, you know, fighting also, fisticuffs, something like that. Um, but I also, there's something else that's good about your person. And when it comes to loving and being charming, they put their all into love. And I feel... They're really good at making a relationship work. They put their all into it. It's just they're not getting back what they put in from their pre, you know, they didn't get that back from their previous relationships, but they do put their all in when they're in a relationship and they're skilled at lovemaking as well. I do feel that. And they're just very charming people. I feel there's something also, something else. Like, I feel with this Ten of Wands, because I'm, I'm looking at this little, you can see that, it's like a little bird up there. He has a really big eye. So I feel like there's something about your person's eyes that's going to catch your attention. I do. Something about their eyes. You know, it could be the eye color. It could be memorable, amber, green, or hazel, something like that. That might be memorable for you. I also feel like your person might be a little bit taller than average or that's going to strike you you know their height or something about their height is going to you know uh, get your attention or something like that um let me see okay um and then this is this is like guidance for you spread your wings do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. I think with this um, spread your wings card, it's just telling you that don't be afraid to take a chance on this person when they approach you. I think you're going to find that there there's more to this person than meets the eye. Um, so don't be intimidated, I feel. I think you need to move past your comfort zone, is what this card's saying, and take a chance on this person and take a chance in this a new relationship when this per person approaches you. Okay, also, with the items here, let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so we've got these two little orbs, a wheelbarrow, um, a plane, an airplane, and this little flower here. It's a white flower. Okay, so just examining this little blue orb first. 
Um, I feel this is about communication. I feel this is just uh, this orb here. It's just your person asking you out. Yeah, just just trying to get you to go out with them, talking to you. Um, let's see what else. Okay, and with the flower, I feel meeting through a friend, like somebody's going to introduce you. And I think that has to do with also the connection to the blue communicating. I feel like being introduced by friends or something like that. Um, there was two blue orbs. So the other one is just about travel. And then with the airplane, I definitely feel it's about travel. So it could be travel. Your person could like to travel or your person could be traveling to see someone I feel like it's a relative. They could be traveling for something to do with a relative, an illness of a relative, a funeral, a family reunion. But they're traveling for some reason that has to do with kinship or, or family, friendship there. And they, they also like to travel as well. They're, I hear jet setting, like they, they might like traveling a lot or they want to. Yeah, let's see. Um... The wheelbarrow just makes me feel like your person is just a hard worker. Like this person works hard for everything that they have in their lives. Um, yeah, that's mostly what I feel about that. Let's see if there's anything else. Mm, no, I don't think there's anything else that I'm feeling. Um, yeah, so your person's coming in quickly if you haven't met them yet. If you have, they it was really hard for them to approach you. Okay, but you should take a chance on them because the relationship will prove to be, you know, something good for you. Okay, so don't be afraid to take a chance on this relationship. And I think that's all I have for you. If you picked pile number one, group one. So if this message resonated with you, if you liked the reading, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. So if you chose pile two with the bloodstone here and various other items, this is your reading. And we will look at those items later so they can add any more clarity and detail to the reading For right now. Let's see, who are you gonna date next? Six of Swords. Six of Coins. And right away I'm already getting the feeling that your person is community oriented. Three of Coins. This is the Seven of Winter. Just put that right there. And then I think this is just guidance for you guys. Okay. So the first thing I see, what is your person like? What does your person think? How does your person feel? Okay. Who are you going to date next? So the uh, sword six tells me that your person's thinking is kind of eclectic. Okay. Um, they're progressive because their Mercury is in Aquarius. And these are my um, astrology cards. So they give details, you know, astrological details about um, the specific card or what they're linked to. So I feel like with the Sword Six and the Mercury Aquarius there, your person thinking is eclectic, it's progressive, it's logical, it's objective. Your person's a quick thinker. They're quick with ideas. Um, they get ideas from the collective unconscious, you know, I feel, or divine inspiration. I feel your person's confident, your person's careful about their speech. They're very articulate when they do speak and they love communicating with people that are on their level, like as intelligent as they are. I feel your person with the Six of Swords is also on the go a lot, traveling, okay? Um, your person is analytical. Your person is patient. And patient enough to work with children, I feel, okay? With that Six of Coins card there. 
I feel your person is also patient at analyzing, patient at implementing, planning ideas. And I feel that these people are, your person is, very careful with their words. They like to think about them. And when they speak, they speak for a reason. They speak with purpose and they know what they're talking about. Your person also likes structure. And your person likes to structure his or her ideas. And that's what I'm feeling from this Mercury in Aquarius and the Six of Swords. With the Six of Coins card, definitely tells me that your person is generous. I almost feel Pisces energy with the Six of Coins. Right? This person, as I said before, is very community oriented. They, they like to help others. Generosity, um, the person you'll date next loves to educate others might even be a teacher, right? They especially love to educate young children or work with young children. Your person could be a student. Your person could be an educator. Your person could be someone in the performing arts, theater, theater arts, or be a theater teacher, theater professor. Your person could spend a lot of time in their head planning their next move, especially with that six of swords there, that energy they plan. Um, it could be planning lessons, planning strategies, just planning overall. Your person may spend a lot of time also, I feel, with this three of this three of coins here and the six of coins. Your person could definitely be a student who studies or a professor who plans or a teacher who plans their like their lessons is what I'm feeling. So your person may spend a lot of time in their head. Your person may be focusing effort on their passion, which is a three of coins. Your person could be focusing effort on studying a skill or studying a skill that is their passion, right? And developing that skill. And I feel the skill could be chemistry, especially with that little bottle, the green thing there, potion. They could be studying chemistry, chemicals, biochemistry, health, health field engineering, architecture, math. I feel more science and theater with this, you know, like performing um, potions, perfumes, drama. But your person is definitely intelligent, smart, cunning. They're caring also, right? Um, I sort of feel though with the seven of winter that your person's also casually dating others. So if you're just meeting this person, they might also be casually dating others, okay? Or when you first met, they may have been dating other people as well. I feel with the seven of winter, your person is also not only smart, but a risk taker. Your person is progressive and believes in moving forward. Your person is ingenious, right? Really smart, intelligent individual whether it's male or female. Your person could be a little bit taller than average as well, whether it's a male or female. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else. Um, yeah, so with this comfort card here, it says, I am with you in your time of need. Okay, so this, I kind of feel like that is about... Um, Needing time to heal. So I feel like either you or your person needs some time to heal their heart. Um, this could be more of a message for you though. Um, you know, I feel time's needed to reflect on feelings. You know, journaling may be good to help you heal. So it's just about healing, you know, comforting yourself, self care, taking care of yourself and healing. So whatever's happening in your life, maybe you need to take time to also you know, do a little bit of healing um, of the heart or whatever it is. It could literally be an illness that you're healing from, but it's just telling me that you need to heal. Okay. So let's look at the items here and see what they say. All right. So with this little blue orb, hmm. I think this person, you know, it's kind of awkward. And I feel either they're awkward or they were intimidated by you initially and they kind of struggled with whether or not to ask you out. I feel that because they're so intellectual. They're not very, they're not 
traditionally like heart centered. I feel they use their logic more than their emotions. So they didn't know how to approach you when they met you or when they're, you know, to ask you out if they haven't done it yet. They're kind of struggling with that, okay? Because they have a lot of confidence in their skill sets, but not so much in love. They don't know how to maybe speak to you initially. So if they did ask you out, they struggled with that, I'm feeling. Okay, let's see what else. Um, yeah, this thing won't say put. All right. Anyway, so with the bloodstone, I feel like the bloodstone says your person does not make decisions easily and they could be flippant. So back and forth, back and forth. Do I want to? Don't I want to? Do I want to? They spend a lot of time thinking before they finally make a decision. They just turn it over in their minds over and over and over and over and they go back and forth. So I feel like that is how they process when they're making decisions. That's what they do. Um, this little butterfly, which is turned over like this. Your person spends a lot of time evaluating. Yep. Same message. Evaluating. Turning things over over and over and over before they make decisions and then the owl this owl here yeah your person is not in very intuitive or they don't use their intuition a lot you know they're cerebral because owls are very wise and smart so i feel they've used their logic more their intelligence more than they use their heart and that's what this owl is telling me your person is very logical and they could run hot and cold is what it's saying to me. And I think that is all I am seeing for you guys, group number two, if you pick pal two. So if you enjoyed this reading, please be sure to leave comments below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post another video. And I will see you again next time. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. Okay, it's the pile with the owl and some other items there. Okay, I'm going to put those to the side. We'll come back to those later, okay? So let's see what cards you got and who you're going to date next. What is this person like? Cup two. Your person is a Cancer or a moon in Cancer. The world. The Ace of Winter. This is the King of Cups. Prioritize. And peace. All right. So what have you got going on here? What is this person like? Okay, so with the Cup 2, your person, as I said, is a moon in Cancer. Cancer sign could be Cancer, Venus in, you know, um, Venus sign could be in Cancer as well, but I feel this is more moon in Cancer, like it says, or a Cancer individual, right? Cancer zodiac sign. With this, I just feel as if your person, um, the traits of a moon in Cancer person, they're very guarded, okay? So I feel like your person is very guarded. Um, your person's been hurt in the past. They tend to form emotional attachments very quickly and easily, and that's why they've been hurt in the past. So moon cancers typically learn, you know, get this lesson about not opening up when they're younger. So I feel like this person is an older individual. And I'm also getting that feeling because I'm looking at the King of Cups there. So I feel your person's a little bit more mature. Okay. Um, so with the, with the, the moon in cancer there, your person has been hurt in the past a lot. And so it's taught them to be very, very guarded is what I feel, okay? Um, so they're closed off. And if you are approaching them, they're going to seem very closed off. They're going to seem very snobbish. They're going to seem very arrogant. But this person is just guarding his or her heart, okay? And it takes a while for them to let people in. And it may take a while to let you in, okay? Um, but once they let you in, you'll find out that this person is a big old sweetheart they're very domesticated, you know, they're homey, they care about home and, and earth and, you know, all those things that have to do with home. They're caring, they're giving, they're loving to their friends and their family. They like a comfy home, okay? 
So also I feel your person can be quite funny with this moon in Cancer and also with that Ace of Winter. I feel they have a unique comic sense of humor, okay? Um, your person could also work as an IT specialist. I don't know why that came, where that came from. Oh, I do. It's the Ace of Winter, okay? I feel like they're, they're intelligent and they work in some kind of programming field or something like that. Um, but then again, the moon in Cancer, the person could also be a nurse, social worker, caretaker, something like that, okay? So your person, I'm feeling also, either wants someone that is independently wealthy, successful, and stable, as I'm seeing with the world here, they either want that or they have that to offer you. They have a lot, a lot of money, a lot of stability to offer you, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. If your person is not already independently wealthy, then they want that from you. But I kind of feel like this person is already wealthy, okay? When you meet them, they're independently wealthy. They have stability and security. Um, so this is how this moon in Cancer or this um, this person shows their love is by providing for their loved ones, providing for their friends. And part of that is providing financially and providing a stable home. So this is your person here, okay? And as I said, the Ace of Swords tells me that this person might be into ent internet something, okay? Or um, technology. And they're also very funny. They're funny, kind of weird sense of humor. Okay, and I feel that this person may be attracted to you because you're older or this person, as I said before, could be the older person I'm getting because these people typically learn their lesson about being guarded when they're older, okay? Because they've been hurt so much, so. But um, they also like older, more mature people, okay? But since we're talking about your person here, I feel like this is your person. They're older, they're stable, they're wealthy, and they're mature. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And they're cancer. Also, the King of Cups is also water sign, very, very cancer vibe, um, homey, you know, running his own business, home business, emotionally secure at this point, um, or able to balance the emotions is what I'm feeling, okay? So if this is your person, the King of Cups, this person is knows how to temper his emotions most times, okay? He has had to learn how to do that. Also, to keep from being hurt, he has to learn how to control those emotions well. Um, with the Ace of Winter, I feel your person could overthink certain situations. They could be overreactive, over emotional at times, you know, and a little little sensitive, okay? Because, it, you know, it is a water sign, or he or she is a water sign after all. So that comes with the territory, being a little over emotional, overreactive. But I think your person knows most times how to control that pretty well by now, okay? Um, let's see what else. So he or she is attracted to you because you are also mature. Or, as I said, you could also be stable. So you both could be stable, okay? But I feel your person has more in terms of finances, like abundance, okay? But you could also be emotionally and um, financially secure, you know, just stable in general. And your person's attracted to that as well. They like that about you. You could also be an older individual as well. You could also just um, give off a mature kind of vibe to this person. They like that about you. I feel your person has, is, is definitely older. I feel salt and pepper, grayish hair, something about the hair, dark, darker, something about it, about the hair, okay? This person... Um, maybe your soulmate, this person with the two of cups and the king of cups. I feel as if this person is the spouse, your spouse. Okay. I feel this is soulmate energy, um, love, marriage. I, I feel you could marry this person. Okay. This could be your soulmate. So the next person, if we're talking about the next person that you're dating, who will I date next? The next person that you're dating will be, um, it looks like your spouse, okay? Your marriage long-term partner, it's telling me, okay? At least, at the very least, a life partner because I'm getting a lot of soulmate energy from those cards there. Um, let's see what else. So if you haven't met this person yet, the next person you date will probably be your soulmate um, or your romantic soulmate, you know what I mean, your spouse because you have a lot of soulmates in, in life, okay? I meant like your spouse or your, your life partner or something like that. 
Um, yeah, let's look at the, the items, okay? Um, and then we'll get to the, the guidance for you guys so you can get any more information about your next date, personal date next. Okay, let me just put those here. All right, so you can see those easily. Um, so I feel with the pin flipped over like that, generally it has this links on it and links or a symbol of freedom. But like that, I feel it's some kind of restriction with the flower in it, probably restrictions on opening up, right? Because flowers tend to bloom, bud and open. So your person may not open up so well. And I think I mentioned that before. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a tug of war to get them to tell you things. But once they're comfortable with you, just like with the moon and cancer people, once they get comfortable with you, oh, it's over and it, you know, and it's on. So they'll let you know everything. They'll open up like a flower and just spill their guts. Everything will come out, but they have to be comfortable with you first. Okay. Once they feel it's safe, they will do that. And then with this little, um, this thing here with the heart on it. I feel your person tends to withdraw emotionally when they're hurt or upset, but they're, you know, it's a water sign and, and they look like they're a lot of water. So that's expected, as I said before. And then with the owl, I feel like your person is going to ask you out during like, um, Libra time frames, Libra time frames. I'm getting like September 23rd to October 23rd. You might meet and or you might meet this person before, but this is when they're going to get the nerve up to ask you out or October 31st to November 22nd. If it's, you know, you're doing side reel. So those are the dates between September and November. I feel you're going to get asked out by this person. Um, if you've already met this person or, you know, you have yet to get asked out, as I said, I feel this person will ask you out when the moon is also in Pisces. That's for some, the others of you, okay? So between the Libra dates, September to November, or when the moon's in Pisces, that's when you're gonna ask, this person's gonna ask you out, okay? So just the guidance and advice cards I see here, prioritize and peace. I feel as if um, prioritize is saying that um, here, it's saying that some of you are questioning or going to question what's being offered by this person when you finally meet them. But you need to make a decision and stick to it because I feel like you're going to vacillate. You're going to go back and forth. Do I want to? Do I want it? Do I want their love offer? Don't I want it? So do you want to focus on your goals independently and prioritize independently? Or do you want to accept this offer of love and let this person in, let this person help you, you know, harmonize together and figure out whatever it is you're going to do and accomplish these things together. So that's what that card is telling me to tell you. And then the peace card is just saying a lot of peace and, and harmony is going to come through this love and it is destined. Okay. So that's what the peace card is telling me for you. And that is all I am seeing for you. If you picked pile number three, group three, if this resonated with you, if you like the reading, please be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can know when I post another video, and I will see you again next time.